This is my Marlin 1894 CST in 357 and 38 special update. I put about 300 rounds through it. I just thought I'd give a quick update. I'm actually selling it. Uh, bought it for 1200, which some of you guys thought was insane. <laughs> and ended up selling for 1450. The Canadian lever gun in 357 market is insane right now. So people are willing to pay way over what I think they're worth. And I just have a couple in 357, so I thought I'd let this one go, especially for 250 profit. The uh, the stock's been really good. It's got a great texture to it, but it does mark up, and it has a horrible white undertone to it. You can see that here and here, and one on the forehand too. So that's kind of annoying. I don't know why they didn't put like a black undertone or a gray undertone. That would have just hid all those markings so much more and made the gun look a lot better. The stainless steel makes it really easy to clean. Just spray it down, wipe it down, and oil it, and she's ready to rock. The, uh, the threaded barrel is really nice. It came with this horrible flash hider slash muzzle brake device that screws on. And even with the locking washer that goes on in between, it makes this gun wildly inaccurate. Like I'm talking meters out at a 50 yard shot, which is completely useless. So I sold the gun without it and I'm basically just gonna throw this away because I don't know where he got this from, probably Amazon, but it is garbage. Overall though, guys, I wouldn't be afraid to pick one of these up. I know Marlin and Remington had their issues. I think this is post Remington era. So I would definitely look for one of these. It's a great gun. I really like it. Like I said, I just have a few too many. Well, not too many. You can never have too many, but I have a few lever action 357s. So I'm letting this one go. If you have any questions, let me know and post in the comments. Thanks for watching.